Breast cancer emerged in Joni Carone's life fast and furious. In less than one year, I went from no cancer to stage 3C cancer, and I was given a 50-50 chance of surviving five years. Like many women who received this devastating news, it crippled Joni. I was living my life in six month increments because I was getting a PET CT scan every six months to see if the cancer was back. So I was depressed. I sat around. I didn't want to do anything. A similar story for Fern Millman. You're a survivor. I am. I'm actually a two time survivor of uh, breast cancer. No family history of breast cancer now faced with what would be life's biggest challenge for both ladies. We don't talk about breast cancer in the boat, but you know that somebody's always there to has got your back. This is where both ladies found hope, sisterhood and motivation to fight their cancer and live. We are a breast cancer survivor dragon boat team. We are a supportive uh, team for breast cancer survivors, but we're also a competitive team. Survivors in Sync is the team's name. And just by the paddling here, you can tell these women are truly connected. That was the first time since my diagnosis that I felt alive, that there was something to live for. And just the, the camaraderie in the boat is just the most amazing. It, it means so much. It's not your typical support group. It's really, focused about uh, facing forward and looking into the future and you know trying to stay positive. All members of this dragon boat paddling team are breast cancer survivors. They are champions at beating cancer and they have a message for all women. Mainly uh, early detection and getting mammograms and being uh, proactive because it's a very curable disease if it's caught early. With COVID, over the past two years, a lot of women have been putting off getting their mammograms because of COVID fear. They don't want to go to the doctor's office. They don't want to go. So they are predicting that there are going to be, this is going to be the highest year for cancer deaths. Survivors and sisters, they've lost a few along the way. Their memory honored here at Nathan Benderson Park. We always say forever and forever in our boat. Grateful for every day and moments like this that keep these ladies paddling and positive. I know you're positive because I've seen you party. <laughs> <laughs> and you're, you're going to the championships, the world championships. Yes, what do you have to say are. about that? We're excited about that. Reporting in Sarasota, Narisa Lamison, ABC7 News.